So the Super Bowl was yesterday, obviously. I really haven't watched much football. I used to play fantasy football and watch all the games and back when I wa watched college football, I dedicate like the whole Saturday to watching college football. Same with um, the NFL. The whole Sunday, I just watch football all day. And then, you know, when it was over, the last game, I'd be thinking, damn, now I gotta go to school when I was younger, or uh, gotta go to work now, the next day. Hey, you, you spend all week excited for that day to come then it comes and then it's over and it feels like it's over quick and then now you're back um you know there's a video i was talking about like subconscious things uh, changing up your routine to fire different neurons and like i said i don't know if it's true or not uh, but changing up patterns is, is, is something I think is, is really useful like just now um, getting my shoes on I don't like I don't I don't like tying my shoes so my shoe my shoes are always tied well I didn't even pay attention that I got oh should I <laughs> put them back on anyway <laughs> I didn't get my still toe boots on today because I don't even think like when I put my shoes on I just put them on I'm not conscious at all. I'm barely conscious when I'm driving. Because my mind's somewhere else. I think it's boring. I think reality is highly boring. Um, there's cool things, you know, like taste, smell, touch. That's cool. But for the most part, it's just boring, man. I can't see. Is it a red fucking light? Okay. It's hard to tell if that was a, a green light or a red light. Anyway. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's just boring. Um. You know, they, they played the the Black National Anthem, and I don't care. That's cool. I have no problem. Are they going to play the Asian National Anthem next year? Are they going to play the Native American National Anthem the next year? Like, they should probably diversify and play different ones. That would be cool. Um, the halftime show, I thought, I thought Rihanna did a really good job. There was some um, sexuality involved. Some of the ways she was dancing, but for the most part, I thought that um, it was pretty cool, you know, seeing her up on stage high up. Um, and it was actually a really, really good game. I wanted the Chiefs to win, and they won. Um, but this, I, I don't really pay attention to, to sports or watching the actual games anymore. Uh, I watch some Thanksgiving games because it's like traditional. You know, like the Super Bowl is like traditional. So I like to watch and see what's going on. Plus, you get to see what's going on with culture too, especially with the Super Bowl. Um, but yeah, I, I I find and I and I've I've, I've always thought this one. If I got nothing writing on the game, and that's why I think that people like to bet on sports because it, it gives them an invested interest other than their, their favorite team or whatever. Like, w when I played fantasy football, I had an invested interest. The player, one of my players were in the game. I wanted to see how they were doing. So, I, I like sports. I've always liked sports. I've always liked to play sports. But I'd rather play a video game 
uh, you know, it's kind of nerdy. I make myself and put myself in the game. You know, why do I do that? Well, dude, I'm old. I'm 42. I'm never going to be able to um, be in any type of professional sports, even like a, a semi-pro sports. I don't have the talent, and I'm old as hell. So, what is wrong with me playing something, simulating how it would, you know, if I was like the greatest player? What is, there's nothing wrong with that, and it's, it's kind of stimulating. Because um, that's never going to happen in real life, because real life is boring. Um, the same thing, same, same, same crap over and over. Um, nothing really exciting anymore. I'm not excited for nothing. So I tend to would rather be out of reality. You know, when I went hiking in, in different mountains and stuff like that, um, when I was hiking up, it was all about hiking, getting to the top. I didn't really sit down or really care about the scenery too much. I mean, it was cool. It made me feel peaceful. You know, I go to make a political angry video and then I wouldn't even make a video because I'd feel um, at ease or peaceful. But then I get to the top and it's beautiful, but it's not like I'm sitting up there all day. I'd be up there for like 10, 15 minutes and I get fucking bored. Start heading back down. Might as well be just like staring at some gorgeous painting. Like, how long are you gonna look at it? How long are you gonna stare at it? It gets boring. And, you know, it's cool to, to take that, have your senses, you can hear stuff and smells, you, you know, see, but it's just, it just gets boring, you know? But um, I'm grateful that I could have that experience because some people can't even see. Um, a lot of people are scared of the technology coming. And it could be used the wrong way, for sure. A lot of people are scared of like losing their jobs. And I understand that. And I'm sure that the farmers, the people, so people always were in the fields before. And they were farming. And when we actually use human labor, forced labor, to do the farming, well, now we have machines doing that. And there'll be different jobs that are created. You know, they, these jobs that we have now, back then, Back in the day, they wouldn't even th thought of these jobs. Like, what, what's next, you know? What are we gonna do now? Well, well look at the tech. You I know, mean, there's gonna be, it's just you don't you don't think, and, and, and people get scared because they live in the past and they want things to stay how they are, and they're afraid of change, and they're afraid of evolving, and They're stuck in the same patterns. And it's it's good to break out of patterns. You, you can tell. You can tell your patterns when you when you don't even have to think and then it just happens. Like you just do it without thinking. You're in a complete pattern. You don't have to think about it at all. It's all subconscious. I had, I'm teaching my kid how to drive and he's all concerned about the speed limit and I'm like I don't even look at the speedometer half the time probably most of the time I don't even look at the speedometer and it's just all by feel and subconscious anyway that's all I got